Hello, I am super trainer Elise Joan, and I am so excited to bring you my Bar Blend Super Block that I wanted to give you a chance to experience one of my favorite week one workouts right now. Think of it as a sample. Classes are action verbs, and this Booty Blend Elevate will give you the perfect experience to get a feel for the baseline of the program so that you are ready and excited to peak your performance and optimize your heart and mind as well as your body. Enjoy. Welcome to the Bar Blend Super Block. I am the creator and super trainer, Elise Joan, and I know you're used to me bringing you positive affirmations, but this time around, I have evolved that into MI questions. Each day, a new one, and I've started us off with one of my favorites. It is, am I walking on the wild side? That is what this Bar Blend Super Block is all about. Over the next three weeks and up week, I will be taking you on a transformative journey that transcends fitness. Of course, I have designed this program to optimize your body for peak performance and maximum results. We will be thriving through my signature burn zones and my heart pumping cardio intervals. And this time around, I've up-leveled affirmations to questions so that together we can really dig deep and tune in to who we are becoming so that we can nurture the most important relationship of all, the one we have with ourselves and this spectacular life we are creating. So I've invited some special friends to join us. Let's take a nice wide step, reach up, exhale out anything keeping you out of this very moment, and let's come right to our fast-paced cardio warm-up for this super block. Now, I'm sure you have noticed these two beautiful people show up behind me. I have Dane bringing us some modifications for those of you who may be new to the modality of bar. And on my right, we have Danielle as we reach up toward our goals here. Maybe one of your goals is your third or fourth time doing the super block, leveling up to those intensifications with Danielle. Now I wanna emphasize, I would love for you to do your first round picking up no equipment at all. Let's come to some booty kickbacks. You know me, you guys know. I'm gonna lift, shape, and elevate your booty. Today is Booty Blend Elevate. So let's start with lifting that booty right off the top. Core is active, we're taking up space in the heart, and let's talk about walking on the wild side as we do my signature low impact. High intensity firework lunges, we get low to high, low to high. Now we are moving our body in all planes of motion throughout this warm up. To me, walking on the wild side means creating programming, sequences, and series of movements that are based in play. They are based in how our body naturally wants to move. So I want you to express yourself. Who already out of breath as we come to our first burn zone in this warm up. Give me a few pulses in those hips. And now, a head roll. As you roll your head from side to side, I want you to shake out any thoughts that don't serve your highest good. I want you to start to honor yourself. Let's circle those shoulders. And as you breathe, really look inward. You are amazing. There's nothing else you should be, no other way you should look or feel other than how you are. So let's switch directions in the shoulders as we switch directions in our thoughts as well. We learn to love our body as we explore mobility. We'll reach side to side as if you were pushing away limiting beliefs. Fire up that core. We have to reframe our idea of success. Maybe a little faster. If you are here and you are moving your human body, you are successful. This is a very challenging and different way to work. I promise you, it's worth this walk on the wild side with me. So from here, drop it. You know I'm gonna give you a little self-expression in our warm-up. So just give me those hips side to side, keeping those arms up. How about a slow hip roll? Ooh, feeling all those creaks and cracks the other way. Getting rid of stagnancy in the body with mobility training. And now hands to the hips, just give me anything you've got here. You are working out at home, switch directions. I wanna see your self-expression here. 
One more, yes, I know Dane's expressing himself. <laughs> Open those arms. We take an internal lunge, external heart opener, internal lunge, then on tempo, low and open. And I'd like to remind you, the only tempo that matters is the tempo in your heart. It's the tempo that feels good for you. This is a fast pace. Don't feel the need to keep up with me. Only keep up with your own goals for yourself. Okay, we're gonna hold it this side, both hands down. We take a world's greatest stretch. Both hands down, step to plank, switch. We go twist, hands down, plank, and switch. Twist, hands down, plank. Now we hold it here. Take that twist, find the core. Double bent knee lunge as you lift up to a spinal twist. Straighten the back leg as you tap down and hinge. So it's up for two and down for two. Now we are doing core rotation, full body work. And I know you're feeling that burn in the front thigh. Now hands to the side of the head. Exhale, give me an elbow to knee twist, back to neutral. So we are working our body across all planes of motion here and having fun. Both hands down, step to plank. Our first variation, booty day. Let's go ahead and give a little booty lift right here. Elbows are soft, shoulders stacked over wrists. Starting to defy gravity and to defy our previous limitations that exist only in our mind and only if we're afraid of our wild side. Bring both feet down, step that right foot forward. Big firework lunge. And we have our reaches. We reach up, hands down, step back and switch. Whew. World's greatest stretch. This is one of our few moments of somewhat restfulness <laughs> in what can otherwise feel like a very relentless pace. Engage the core, drop the knee, lift up. Straighten the back leg and reach. So in bar blend, it is a non-stop movement festival of joy, right? Take breaks anytime you need. And I really encourage you to do this entire first round without ever picking up a prop. I promise you, it's still built for results. Hands to the side of the head. I want you to give me a little twist and return to center. I want you to start to curate an awareness of your body, where you're feeling it, how your body wants to move, and that is walking on the wild side in fitness. We're not gonna be doing, there's no burpees in this program. Bring the hand down, we're not doing squats, we're not doing things. We are creating new modalities of movement in our body that will be asking you to keep an open mind and move in a way, in a rotation, and in a mobility that feels good for you where you are. I promise it will come. All right, we're gonna step that left foot forward, open it up, and just a few booty kickbacks here as we prepare for our first shift from original bar blend, you're going to pick up two moderate dumbbells or nothing at all. And we're gonna to move together into a block that slows down the tempo, but lifts up the burn. Let's go ahead and come down. I'm going for five pounds. Decide what feels moderate for you. Now, we're gonna get some mobility first. Hands to the chest. You're gonna take a squat to a big hip circle. Squat to a hip circle. Now, again, you can go as slow as you need. Already, I'm bringing you into a very challenging balancing exercise. A reminder, your chair is always there for you. Your wall, anything that helps you balance. But in this super block, I have up-leveled the modifications. So feel successful if you need to modify the modifier. <laughs> okay, now we switch directions. We go from back to front. Ooh, there's the hip pop, right? So depending on what your day is like, these will be more challenging if you sit a lot, if you sleep poorly. We wanna just start to come into an awareness of how our body is helping to feel good through these very challenging movements and balance. Ooh, last one here. Let's come up, nice classic split squat with that right foot back. Hinge from the hips and just give me some nice familiar deadlifts, squeezing the glutes at the top. So day one, I want you to feel familiar and successful. This is a fabulous iteration with no weight at all. Dane is using light weights, and you can go up to moderate. Now this next one, I'm going to invite you to add that little leg lift. Core is strong, slight lunge in that standing leg, and we activate the core. Now you can kick stand every time as I'm showing, to recapture your balance. And I want you to watch me. Maybe your leg lift looks like this, an inch off the mat, 
That's incredible. It is not about looking impressive. It is about being honest with ourselves and what feels right. We have two more. Nice, slow control. And notice how slow endurance feels different and hits different than that fast-paced cardio strength. All right, booty lifts. You knew they were coming. Block number one. I'm gonna add a lunge, a focal point for my eye, and I'm gonna lift from the base of my seat. So I am activating my core and keeping my low back lengthening so that the lift comes from the base of my glute maximus where it meets the hamstrings. Last one. Now we're gonna bring it right back to a 90-90 lunge, hands by your side. Step to a hammer curl, overhead press. Bring it in, bring it down together and lift. So again, taking a couple of classic fitness moves to make you feel comfortable, right? 90-90 lunge, hammer curls, and adding our little bar blend flare. Can you notice that your glutes engage in the standing leg as you lift that knee forward? I want you to start noticing where you're working your body. It's not always obvious. Okay, this one we hold. We're gonna bring those weights to center, turn the palms up. It is an external rotation of the hip to an internal rotation. External and internal. Now you will notice me wobbling around. If that's you, check me out for this option. Oh, kickstand. I'm still working on stabilizing with my core. I'm still working on opening my heart. And I'm still working on my wild side. Because for me, as a hopefully recovering perfectionist, walking on my wild side means feeling awesome about modifying, okay? Two more, bring it open. Ooh, and my hips start to feel really good here. Okay, a familiar move from the original. It is a squat, here we go. It is twist, twist, knee lift, twist, twist, knee lift. We go low, low, high, low, low, high. Now one more, we take out the rest. It goes low, low, high, twist, twist, knee. Off you go. And I'm gonna highlight Danielle over here. Look at this range of motion with those moderate weights. Yes, and now watch me. I am doing it with no weights at all, prioritizing range of motion. Find that breath and find a version that works for you, not against you. If those weights feel too heavy, they are too heavy. Set them down, round two, try a lighter weight. Last one, each side, yes, Danielle. And we are ready for side two. Fire up the core and off we go here. We're going to engage that core. We have our split squat. Start off nice and simple. Classic fitness move, squeezing the glutes at the top. You will notice that I split up every side throughout the program with a cardio interval between sides. This is interval training, original bar blend and this super block. So we will be getting that heart rate up and down throughout practice to keep us in the maximum fat burning zone. Now from here, I want you to go ahead and try those leg lifts. And you'll notice that unless I'm telling you it's the last two or last eight, we're not counting reps. This movement and most of my programming is time under tension. So you may do one awesome booty lift in this deadlift, and you may do five. You are successful either way. I'm going slow, taking my time to prioritize integrity over impressiveness. Now I'm gonna to try to hold. I have that lunge and I take my little booty lifts. So the key here, I have a little modification. If you want, you can turn those weights from adding challenge to adding support by bringing your hands to your weights right here. When we walk on the wild side, we find solutions. We don't follow someone blindly because they say hold weights. We decide for ourselves if the weights benefit us. And in fact, someone asked me today if it was gonna be a great day. Let's hold it up and let's come to that Charleston as we take our bent knee lunge, hammer curl lift. And I said, it is going to be a great day. And you know why? Because we are what we decide. If we decide that we are feeling awesome by doing these moves slowly with no added weight, using our chair, and we decide that that is awesome, what a wild, radical idea that we can feel successful toning down the challenge and lifting up the impact it has on our mind and heart. No impact on the body, huge impact on our lives and our mentality. Are we ready? We're gonna hold it here. Fire up the core. External rotation and internal. 
So throughout this program, I'm gonna help you understand the difference between adduction of the hips, bringing them together, and abduction opening up. We have four more here. Now is a great time to try to catch your breath or join me for this kickstand. Putting my toes down does not impact the strength I get from this movement at all. It simply allows me to be more successful. Last one. Good news, we get to set the weights down safely and we bring out our chair or wall or bar for the first time. Take an arm's distance step away, heels lifted and together, core strong. Now guide both hips open as we come down just a couple inches. Move number one, an atomic narrow V. We go down, two, three, press up to straight legs, lower down, two, three, press up. Now I am activating my core and I am keeping my shoulders safely stacked over my hips. Now if you've done bar blend before, I want you to come up a little less each time. So we go down, two, three, return to softly bent knees. Engage that core. Woo. We have two more, down, two, three. Now this next one, we hold the down, two, three. Hold it here, give me a little thigh press back. This is hip abduction. You should feel your side glutes activate. And now we know we have an amazing podcast here. We're going to party together. We're going to come down one inch and we're going to just give it a little, little hip party side to side. Again, I told you that I base my moves on fluidity, natural movement, and fun. So find those hip circles, fire up the core. Yes, podcast. Okay. I have Jelly living her best life right here. What does your self-expression look like? Or more important, how does it feel? Is it wild? I hope so. Last one, Who? quad burn zone. We knew it was coming. No equipment here, look out for your props, right? My legs get so long from bar blend, I don't wanna hit my weights. <laughs> Activate that core. And we have contraction of the core, rounding over spinal flexion like a cat stretch into extension and length through the heart. So we wanna work our body in flexion and extension. And that's what we're getting here. Now, how can you up-level this? You can add a plie and a releve if that feels good for you. But I want you to learn one of the most wild, radical things we can do is realize that our bodies are designed to feel good. They are not designed for burnout. They are not designed for inflammation. I want to support your body's natural state of being mobile, flexible, and happy. Next one, we're gonna hold it in, toes to knee, and same move we just did standing, external and internal. Now we are doing it in a round back core connection. We're essentially in a standing curl, adding that rotation and mobility for the hip. Stay with it. I'm gonna show this on Danielle. Danielle, I love her so much. Look how high her heel is. She is rounding her back. I can see all of her muscles. We know that we have core muscles on our back body. Yes, we do. Now, Danielle, you're gonna hold it in. Next move, we do a scorpion. Knees together, fire hydrant. Knees together, and we breathe. Fire up the core. Now, watch me. I'm going to lower my heel. How does that help me? It gives me more stability and more support because I have a wider frame of support. It also allows me to focus on the quality of the movement of the working leg. I still feel my standing leg. Hold that scorpion, add a plie, a little lift, booty lifts. Now, as you activate the core here, it is so important that we understand how our core impacts our glute work. You have to pull the navel in. When we contract our front abdominal wall, we lengthen the spine and bring all that work into that booty. Bring the knees together, and now we have fire hydrant lifts. Right here, pull the abs in and give me little lifts. Now we are working that hip in abduction and we are trying to fire up the core. Can you give me four more here? I know, we're so close guys, two more. Last one, use that core, step in front of your chair. Just a few bent knee booty kickbacks here. Ooh, feel that? So. In these in-between cardio intervals, and you can feel free to add a hop if you like, I prefer to do this whole program low impact. All my results come from modified and mid-levels. All right, so we feel very lopsided, right? The side we just worked is intense. Let's switch sides. Use that newfound core to move your chair 
and here we go. We stand at about a 45 degree hinge, navel nice and strong. Exhale, bring it in, round the back, turn your attention inward by dropping the chin, and then inhale, lengthen. Now, if you know me, you know, I create moves and sequences that are a metaphor for our life. Sometimes we need to round over, look inward, and send all our energy to ourselves so that we can then expand powerfully into the world with something to offer. It is walking on the wild side to lean into your needs, to radically accept yourself for who you are and what your body, heart, and mind need to recover and restore. Pull it in and reach it back. Let's try one more. How much can you round, flex, engage the core, contraction of the core, flexion of the spine, drop that head. Inhale, reach, 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 extension in the spine and core and leg, knee to foot, and we open up for those internal, external rotations. Now I'm gonna come over to Dane so that you can see the quality of his work. Dane is showing a beautiful long spine. He's in a little bit less of a hinge so that he's able to activate his core to his mobility level. Now, from here, we're going to decide where we are. You're noticing pretty quickly, there's no breaks in bar blend. <laughs> so we're gonna come to that scorpion lift, bring the knees together, hydrant lift. Now, if you can see my alignment, I am trying to keep my sacrum, which is that flat triangular bone at the base of my spine, trying to keep it level. And oh my gosh, I see my girl Katrina on the screen. So look how much great energy Katrina has. Katrina, let's do some scorpion lifts. Little lift straight to the back, engage the core. Beautiful. Now Katrina's trying to lift on her heel. I love this. Now Katrina, I'm gonna ask you, a little less down and up movement and a little more up and hold, up and hold. So watch me and watch Katrina. The more that you get that leg high and skip the lower, look how small my movement is, right? Bar blend, tiny movements, big results. That's the burn zone. Give me four more, lengthen the spine. Yes, Katrina, I can see her abs popping. Bring that knee in. We have our hydrant lifts out to the side. Katrina got the memo. She's wearing leg warmers. And if you didn't catch it, she took a little break. Why? Because she is advanced and she knows that taking breaks are the pathway to success. You should not be able to do this entire class or this entire program without curating your own levels and your own breaks. I guarantee you, premonition, you're gonna see me fall a lot of times in this program. That's the wild side, baby. Hold that lift. We are done with our bar. So you get to move it all the way out of your way. Activate the core. And we're gonna take some curtsies. So again, taking a traditional fitness move and adding our bar blend flare. So from now, you can lift and get low into a twist. High and low, high and low. Now, I want to show you throughout this program, starting today, how you can up-level cardio without adding jumps or tempo. You stay low and deepen that range of movement. Whew. So I'm gonna reach farther away and reach a little more into my twist. This just got more intense. I don't need my heart rate monitor on to tell me that my heart rate has gone up. I have not sped up, and I have not let my feet lift off the floor. All right, now if you wish, you can go to skaters. So we have options here. You can step, and you can jump. Danielle, let's see the intensified options. She's got the star jump there in between. I am keeping it real right here. Maybe you can go across the mat. Last one each side. Whew. We bring it down. We have some 90-90 knees, lean back, good news. We're in our last block of work before we hit our cool down. You got this. This is for hip mobility, now how do we add on? Try it without your hands. It may not happen. Lift up booty press, bring it down and switch. Maybe the third or fourth time you go through this program, you'll be able to lift your arms. But guess what? It does not impact your results. Your results happen in doing your best. Now the classic fitness move, the pretzel. I'm gonna start us off. Go ahead and take hold of that foot. You get a little bit of a hinge and imagine you could lift and lower those toes without lifting the knee. So this is your level one option. And if you've never done pretzel, please check out the Getting Started videos from Original Bar Blend for a really nice in-depth tutorial. If you can keep the toes up, next option, strong core. We lift and lower, lift and lower. 
Now I'm allowing you to really activate that core and feel free to lean a bit into the hands for support. If you've done bar blend before, can you come up a little closer to vertical? Can you hold the lift? And instead of lift and lower, it's a lift and hold. Lift and hold. That difference between what Katrina was showing, the lift and lower, and the lift and hold. Another great way to add an intensification without tempo or impact. Yes, now hold it, flex the foot. Heel spins higher than the knee, feel that glute, and a little presses back and back. Now, I'm gonna show you another way to intensify that probably won't come until a few rounds. You lift up the heart a little taller and open it up. Are we ready? It's a lift and a wrap. A lift and a wrap. And I want you to watch me closely. I'm gonna show you another way this might look on you today, day one. This is what I looked like as a professional dancer my first time trying pretzel. For 20 classes, my knee didn't lift. Did I quit? No, now I'm here because it is consistency. I created this program for ultimate replayability for life. Are you ready for some fun mobility as a reward? I think so. Everyone says yes, straighten the leg. Give me a little mini push up, sweep it around, and give me a twist with the leg extension. So what am I giving you? Part of your cool down in the workout, hamstring stretch, spinal rotation, twist, low back stretch, all that good stuff. We get it all in bar blend. Here we go. One more little burn zone, just because I love you. Little lifts here, abs in. It's day one. Feel successful. I'm gonna show you another iteration of this. You stay where you are. Okay, this is what it might feel like today. Walk on the wild side, baby. Try something that feels different and challenging. Your body will love you. Last one, come on up. We're gonna lift up, engage the core, reach those arms forward. This is a kneeling hinge. You hinge back as you give me a little twist to your right. You can rest by coming upright and switch. So Dane will stay here resting in the middle. I am gonna hold my hinge and skip that rest. I'm gonna turn that three-point triangle movement into a little more of a flow where there's no stopping and starting. This program is the ultimate combination of athleticism and mobility. It is not designed to be easy. Nothing wild is. It can't be tamed. Bar blend cannot be tamed. This is the super block. Bar blend untamed on the wild side. And whoo, here we go. Side two, we know the drill, reach back. Go ahead and find the version that works for you. Some of you, you won't even be able to lift the toes here. That's fine, you focus on trying to square that hip. If it lifts and lowers easily, this is about the fifth time we've done this external and internal rotation for the hip. We are training our body to what it originally knew before chairs were invented, before driver seats were invented, before shoes were invented, when our body had to function on its own. This is not new for your body. We just have to unlearn the stagnancy and relearn our natural state of being wild. Now from here, you lift and you lower. You lift and you lower. Now just what I talked about earlier, where we are, what we decide, it doesn't matter if your leg is responding. If your mind is sending the signals to the muscles to lift the leg, the muscles are engaged. A little inside tip, it doesn't matter how it translates. Let's hold that lift, flex the foot, heel up high, little presses back. And that is the same thing in our life. The impact we have matters. But if we start with having the intent of doing our best, not of being perfect, if we start with having the willingness and the ability to move into movement that is deeply challenging, that is completely different, let's lift and wrap. It's this combination and that combination of mind, physical strength, and spirit that allows us to be successful. Don't tame yourself. We have a limitless ability. We're going to discover it together over the next three weeks and our up week. You're gonna love those two. Okay, we ready? Straight leg, little push up. Whoo, hello obliques, hello hamstring stretch. So good news, we're already getting some cool down moves. We have one more little kneeling hinge after this where we will do some de-stress breath work in a challenging move. Why do we love that? Because we're up leveling. It's challenging enough to find meditation if we are still. Let's take one more where we reach. We're gonna hold it back, guys. We've got this. Reach it back, a little less. It's harder to find meditation when we're in the middle of a challenge. But guess what? Life doesn't give us breaks when we want them. Trust me, we all know. 
exhausted moms, powerful executives, entrepreneurs. We have to learn to create the restfulness internally when life is challenging. Here we go. We bring it up. We lean it back. Exhale. Now, maybe you lean back one inch and take 100 breaks. Awesome. Maybe you lean back and you hold. And you lean back and you hold a little more. And maybe you lean back. Now you throw the shoulders back, core strong, heart open. I want you to take a nice inhale and remind yourself that if you are still here, if you haven't stopped this workout and run out to get a donut, you are a huge winner, right? Lean back one more inch. Ooh, and you know what? Even if you did reach for that donut, you're still a winner, right? I want you to give your quads a little massage. We're going to take some nice, what I like to call anti-pretzel stretches. We're going to take the right leg to the right. Whoo! Roll out wrists and ankles, reach up and reach to the side. I really want you to understand the athleticism of this program speaks for itself. But I want you to understand that you have to decide if you are thriving and succeeding. It doesn't come from you looking like me or looking like Dane or looking like some unattainable aesthetic on Instagram. I want you to exhale round over as we practiced earlier. Drop your head and shift all of your attention to yourself. And throughout the day, I want you to ask yourself, am I walking on the wild side and eliminating the limitations I have placed on myself? Come on up, lean it back. We're gonna take a nice big stretch the other side and exhale. Only we can free ourselves from limiting thoughts. Only we can decide to move our body in a wildly, radically elevated way. It is not easy, but I promise you, it is rewarding. Turn down, look inward, see the incredible, powerful, capable human you are. You are deciding your reality. Come on up to sit. You are creating the spectacular life and we are just beginning. Reach up, gather in all that great energy. Let it flow through your mind, your words, your heart, your core. I can't wait to share this very special super block with you. Great job today. I hope you are feeling that epic burn now that you have elevated some of the most powerful muscles in your body and your heart and your mind as well. So join me for this Bar Blend Super Block where you get all the workouts and motivation you need to keep living your best life and aging backward.